Okay, welcome back. So today we'll look at anterior pelvic tilt and some glute bridging uh, with the thought process of, pro of moving on uh, to bigger moves like kettlebell swings or prior to that kettlebell deadlift. So anterior pelvic tilt. So we've talked about a bit of myofascial release in previous videos and squatting etc and general hip movement and how I come in from here. So obviously deadlifts, kettlebell swings, it's all about the power of the, the hinging that we've got going on through these strong muscles back here in the posterior chain. Um, Again, paying respect to what we do in our daily lives, so if we're kind of like desk jockeys, etc., what will happen again is we'll talk about that sort of thing. What will also happen is this kind of anterior pelvic tilt, so the pelvis is kind of tilted anteriorly. If you think of it as like a bucket of water, when it's going there, you're pouring water out the front. Um, in a rare case, sometimes you get a posterior tilt, but we'll focus on the anterior today. What that normally indicates is uh, tight muscles back here tight hip flexors um, and weak or unresponsive abdominals, in particular kind of like thinking of the transverse abdominus down here. Um, so that leads to poor activation. So what I'm going to do today is just show you a little exercise that I do and I've, I've had a fair few clients do to kind of loosen up that area and get a bit of a feeling for what you should be feeling um, prior to doing deadlifts and kettlebell swings. Um, because if you're doing it without, your movement will tend to look like so. So you come up, kettlebell swing, overarching the already overworked quadriborum, which is about here, uh, and not really bracing the abdominals. Okay, so we'll just have a look, quick look at that now. So grab a mat, get yourself down into position. So the way I do it is just literally get into this position, heels about hip width apart and fairly close to, to, your, to your bum. And then what I do is I find the arch position, so I create quite a little bit of space here just to get movement into my pelvis. Then I hollow out the back, so I push it into the floor. At this point, you should feel your abdominals brace. If you haven't felt them brace, then you're probably not pushing much enough into the floor. So you're not pulling the pelvis round. And then, like you've got a line of string just below your tummy button, about an inch below, pulling you up to the ceiling, you just literally push up and squeeze through the glute max. So that should feel straight down the midline of the body. So arch it, hollow it, lift. Arch it, hollow it, lift. Arch, hollow, lift. When you've got that down at a nice slow pace, you can get a little bit more thump into it, essentially as though you're swinging a kettlebell. So arch, hollow, lift. Arch, hollow, lift. Again, you should feel your abdominals contracting as they pull you up to the ceiling through the glutes, abdominals nice and tight. Again, another progression, once you've got that, you can go to more of a single leg version. So, arch, hollow, lift. Arch, hollow, lift. Okay. Recommendation, three sets of ten. If you can't do reps because you're struggling, um, just do holds. Just do holds so you feel your abdominals you squeeze them through the glutes. Um, would strongly recommend you do the myofascial release stuff that I've put in the previous video first, just to make sure that this area is loose um, and you've got freedom of movement. Um, a little bit of foam rolling in the hips, just literally getting the foam roller across there and rolling on it, facing the ground. Um, yeah, if you don't do that, as I said, the, the danger is, is that you're overworking this, uh, which is going to cause potential impingements and problems back here. And, lead to some sort of muscular compensation somewhere else so don't do that if you can't get that movement in your pelvis in sort of seated being able to do that standing being able to do that and brace your abdominals I wouldn't recommend loading up don't don't load up anything if you if you can't move um, okay that's it for that video um, any questions message me like and share on Facebook subscribe to the YouTube channel um, all feedback welcome thank you